Hi, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Chizuka Anderson. Today I'm in the Otsuka area of Tokyo and I'm going to check out a rice ball or onigiri shop called Onigiri Bongo that's really close to Otsuka Station. It's only about three minutes away. The station's over there. The shop is right ahead of us. And the reason I'm here today is because onigiri is such a wonderful traditional Japanese food. It's something that typically your mom would make for you for your lunchbox. So it's a little taste of home for a lot of Japanese people. And this shop is loved by people in Japan as well as people all over the world who come to visit. So we're gonna go check out the shop and see what kind of delicious flavors of onigiri they have and maybe even try my hand at making a rice ball. So let's go check out onigiri bongo. Let's go! All right, I have my mask on now because I am now here. We cannot show the outside of the building, so it's gonna be a bit of mystery for you, but let's go inside. Konnichiwa. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Masu. Hai, kantan na jiko shoukai o onegaishimasu. えっと、私はおにぎり屋のおかみをしております。うこんゆりこと申します。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。年齢も言いますかあ、もし<笑> いつぐらい前からやってらっしゃるんですかえっとですね、主人が始めたものなので、昭和その意味を込めてボンゴという名前が遠くに飛んでいくぐらいあったらいいなという気持ちでボンゴという名前なんですなるほどあと あの、作って売れるんですか。1000個から1300とか400ぐらいは作ると思います。仕込みも逃げるのも全部一人で、あとはまあアルバイト2人ぐらい。本当朝の4時5時ぐらいから夜中までずっともう20年ぐらい働い
、心ですからね。心、うん、わ、うん、かりました、うん。それを入れ込まれるかどうかが問題なんで、そこはもう、もうその人その人の。思いの強さですから、ね。わかりました、うんうんうん。簡単なのは自分に食べさせてあげたい人をイメージするのがいいんですよ。あ、なるほど。うん。I feel like I've already gained a really big hint today on how to make a good omusubi. <laughs> はい、じゃあ、あの、早速。あの教えていただきました,ました作り方をはい、はいはい、どうぞはい、はい、じゃあお願いしますはいお願いします<笑> Let's go to the kitchen <笑> So we're gonna start making our, our おにぎり rice balls right now What are we gonna start making first? じゃあ今日はまず何を作りましょうか、はい、えー、っと割と簡単に作れるものはい卵黄の醤油を作りましょう<笑> Wow!These <笑> are Egg yolks, but they, they have their form because she froze them, which is amazing. I didn't know this was a way that you could do that. Did you know what you need to do? I'll show you this. I'll show you. 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 ご飯に空気を入れます。へえ。それが一番大事。なぜですか？口の中に入れてご飯がパラパラパラパラってほぐれるっていうのね。それがお寿司とかおにぎりとか美味しさ。あ、そうなんだ。ご飯粒の間に空気がたくさん入るのが美味しいおにぎり。へえ。だからあんまり握っちゃいけないんです。なるほど。そう握らないおにぎり。<笑>あ、そうなんだ。オッケー。で最初たくさん空気入れて、空気を入れてこうしたら、うん、このこのくらいのボウルを一個、OK、作ります。おでここに具材入れるんで穴開けますね。はい。でここにうちはね二個入れるんですよこれ。二個。はい。そしたらここにさっきよりもちょっとちっちゃめのボウルをちょっとこういうふうに潰して、はい、乗せるだけこれだけ。あ、簡単。簡単。<笑> so easy。そう。でここを返しますね。はい。でここで塩、塩、塩。あこれね。はい。So、use the salt。ごまの入った塩ですね。<gasps> salt and sesame seeds. That sounds so good. でここ関節一つ。うん。おおそれぐらいね。揉み込んで握ります。おお。1回、2回、おお。3回まで。3回以上絶対に握らない。あそうなんだ。そう。それ以上やっちゃうとどうなるの？硬くなっちゃう。だから普通の人はうっうっうっってやるから美味しくないの。え、そうなんですか？そうなんです。だからもうご飯を握るんじゃなくてご飯をまとめるだけ。まとめる。そう。だって海苔があるから。そっか。海苔包装紙。うんうんうんうん。だから嫌でもつくから、でこの海苔をこっちが中側ね。はい。こっちつるつるが外になるんでこうやってこれを。真ん中よりもちょっとこっち側に乗せます。うん、はい。で倒します。はい。と糊がついてきます。あ、こうやってこうやって。ああ、じゃあ三つも入るんですね。そうです。すごい。わあ。簡単。簡単。This is really, this looks really, really good. <笑> I've never had an egg yolk onigiri before. It looks amazing. So、you need to have a, a wet towel because, まあ濡れないと濡れないとそっかそっか。OK。で、ちっちゃい普通のボウルを作ってください。はい。じゃあちょっと空気を入れます。はい。空気を入れて。はい。はい、Alright.、はい、Put some air in the rice.、はい、mix it up. Alright.、ね、so 穴を開けます。穴を開ける。はい。ちょっとこうやって。だからもうもっといきる。あ、もっともっと。ここ大きく。Okay. So make a nice big、nice、space. So we're gonna put、はい、two egg yolks.、はい This is so cool. It's so cool. It's kind of squishy. I love it. Okay, ちょっとちっちゃめなボールをまた。はい。Okay, put it on top. で、フリップ。はい。はい。で、これを動かしましょう。はい。で、塩。Okay, 塩。One finger, just the top segment of your finger, and then rub your hands together like this. Okay. ここに乗せます。乗せます。はい。So, okay. こういう感じ。こういうふうに乗せちゃいます。こうか。Okay。One, two, three. All right, and look at our seaweed. So I don't know if you can see the difference, but one side is really smooth, 
The other side is really rough looking, um, like it's kind of bumpy. You want the nice smooth side to go on the outside. So we're gonna put that on the bottom. Hey. Cool. So this. So, 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 so. Okay. Oh, okay, that's it. So we're gonna put one more yummy looking egg yolk on top. Okay. Here's my finished onigiri. Yay! Wow, yay! I think I did it. So it's not that difficult to do. And at the end of the day, the shape doesn't matter so much. Yeah, yeah, it's about the taste. Alright, so now that I've learned how to make onigiri and I've made some onigiri all by myself with the teaching of our master onigiri chef, um, I'm now gonna try the onigiri. I think first I'm gonna start with the raw egg yolk onigiri. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's a lot of flavor. It's really creamy. It's a little bit on the stickier side because, I don't know, I think that's because when frozen, a lot of the, the uh, moisture has been gone. But it's really like gooey, a little bit sticky but lots of umami. If you like eggs, I think this is a nice, a really nice choice for you. And that soy sauce flavor, there's plenty of like saltiness, but not too much. Okay, let's try another flavor because we still have two other flavors here. All right, so I'm about to try the second onigiri, but I just want to mention it is so nice being able to eat rice balls in a restaurant because normally these are just to-go items, but here you can enjoy a nice hot, bowl of miso soup. You can get a nice hot cup of green tea. It's just the perfect Japanese dining experience with a very, very classic, um, usually to-go dish. So let's try the mentaiko cream cheese. This looks so good. I love cheese, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be incredible. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. At the moment you take a bite, you get hit with this really creamy cream cheese with a lot of umami as well. And then you get hit with the spice after. And it's not that mild either. It's actually pretty spicy. So if you like spicy food, this is really nice. And the cream cheese balances the spice. I can understand why this is a really popular menu item. This is amazing. I think I found my new favorite rice ball. This is the one. But let's see how the last one compares. Let's give this a try. Miso, sweet and salty peanuts with cream cheese on a rice ball. First time ever. Itadakimasu. Here we go. Whoa! All I can say is this is a new flavor for me. The flavor of the peanuts is nostalgic for me. It's like sweet and salty and really like gooey, almost caramelly. It's really good on its own, but with the cream cheese, it makes it like creamier, almost a little bit softer, milder. Mm. So this is a really, really good rice ball with such a new combination of flavors. Um, I think it's definitely worth a try, and I love the creativity in all of the fillings you can try here. And once again, there's 56 different flavors. だから色んな味を楽しめるんですよね。ここで。おにぎりももうすぎ元々古いものですけれども、50種類の具材で2つを一緒に入れたり、色んなことができるんで、おにぎりも新しいおにぎりに変わってるんで、ぜひぜひ